since the whole Jordan thing kind of ended and I no longer am with Jordan, it's been different because all those animations are gone. I've maxed out that whole thing. So I wanted to see, is it possible to sign another contract? Is it something you can do? And the only way that I know how I did it the last time was I started wearing shoes of other companies. And I have been wearing Under Armour constantly in every single game around the park, doing everything I can. And it appears it's just not a thing. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to continue to do it. Anyways, if you guys are new to the channel, drop a like right now, please. I, I would appreciate it so much if you guys want three videos. I'm thinking about doing three. I'm thinking about doing three. Look at this. I don't know why I'm doing that. It's so cringy, so weird. Anyways, we're going to go jump into the game right now. I'm on the nets. I'm wearing my Cavs teams in these white uniforms, though. Like, man. DJ Swag is on another level. And I'm still playing on six-minute quarters completely unintentionally. Why is Isaiah... Isaiah Thomas? I was wondering why I was talking to him before. Because I was talking to him before the game. And, like, we were talking about something. I unfortunately have it on mute. I'll probably figure that out directly after. We were talking... And he was mentioning, like, I was talking about something about credit card debt. I don't know. I'll have to rewatch all the cutscenes. I only heard, like, a small fraction of it. But he actually looks pretty good in Indiana's colors. And just looking at these colors, I'm definitely thinking about potentially going there eventually, too. If you guys don't know, I have this game. And then one more. And then I'm open up. And uh, then it opens up for me. I'm actually allowed to get traded after that. So we can see what happens when you officially get traded in NBA 2K18. That kind of stuff. We'll see. We'll see what all goes down. Miles Turner, though, that's off. He's like, get your hands up. Hands up. Grab the rebound. I'm having a game. I'm about to have a game. Over. Hollis Jefferson, take the three and no legs. If you're going to shoot a three, put some legs into it, Hollis Jefferson. Don't completely shoot it like that because that was way too light. Good block. Did they give me the block there? I just got multiple defensive stops. I don't know if that was the block. Plus, I was wide open for three. D'Angelo decided to take it. That's completely cool. I respect him for it. I ain't mad about it, but let's get it. I'm actually almost at an 89 overall, which is awesome. And just the thought of trying to grind to a 90 is just sickening. Because it like to get to the 80, like 89 from 88 just playing my career like this took me forever. So I can just imagine how long it's going to take. Like, you go up so slow once you get to this level. Wow, Green, wow! Is that DeMar DeRozan? Is that DeMar DeRozan? I don't know, because it kind of resembles him. I saw a little bit of DeMar in what just happened. Okay, stay on Turner. Stay on Turner. Inside, keep your hands up. Nice block. That's going to come straight to me behind the back. Let's see. I hit a green on the last shot, but I can't get a green on the three. Dang it. Yo, so I got pulled for a little bit, and I come back. And we are just absolutely getting stuck by Indiana, too. And, like, if these are going to be some of my final games with Brooklyn, I want to end on a positive, awesome note. I don't want to end like this. I'm trying to get out there on Beasley. Wow, good defense. But they made it. We're down by 18. So, you guys know how I talk about legacy moments? What's my legacy going to be in the NBA? These, my friends, are legacy moments. These are when you really, really get tested for those things. Nice passing, white head is found, and we hit the three. Can I bring the team back from the worst possible circumstance when everything is going bad, and can I help deliver us a W? I'm hoping I can. I really, really am. Yo, I'm getting screened like crazy Beasley in the corner. That's a miss. Yo, find me. Find me, yo. Let's go behind the back. Behind the back, a little bit to the right. There's Corey Joseph inside and dunk on everybody. Sound the alarm. And I don't know why I say sound the alarm. I'm pretty sure it's pound the alarm. But I'm going to say sound the alarm. Because we just dunked on someone hardcore. Okay, Joseph. Stay over here. Everybody stay over here. Wait for it. Beasley. Oh, my God. How is that a breakdown? Like, I know I was a little bit slow, but I would, I don't know if I'd call that situation a breakdown. I feel like that's a little bit harsh. Okay, so here we go. 151 left. And I just got pickpocketed by Oladipo. I have, a, I have two turnovers, which has killed 
my teammate grenade. I now have a personal foul. So things are bad. Don't look up in that top right corner. Because trust me, if I play the way that I usually play and I shoot 70 some percent, taking the ball every time, that's better than letting these guys play. And that gives our team a better chance to win. We're down by 14 now. One minute and 44 seconds left in the second half, uh, in the second quarter. Wow, I suck at talking. Yo, Oladipo, it's cute when he tries to guard me. It's really, really quite cute when Oladipo does his thing and he slowly walks out to me and he's like, kind of gets in my face a little bit. It's cute because I know, I know when he comes out to guard me, it's lights out. I I'm feeling good. Good things are going to happen. That's a miss. Grab the rebound. Okay, good stuff. Look around. See, Crab is over there. I know Crab is a guy who can pick up the ball and shoot, and that's exactly what he does. He does miss, though. 55 seconds remaining. This is big, big time right here because if they score again, it would put them up by 50, which is very, very dangerous. And if we score, we can be, like, within 10. So there's lots of different ways this can go. I'm trying to break some ankles. You see what's going on right now. That That's mid-range. Why did I go inside? I was literally, I pressed square trying to take the mid-range, but my guy defaultly went inside. I don't know why that happened. Like, that was a perfect mid-range situation. Good defense on Oladipo, but he makes it. Dang it, man. Yo, good screen inside. Elias Sova. Nice catch. Out of bounds, though. Dang it. Good block. Good block. Yo, get me the ball. Get me the ball. Behind the back. That's deep, deep range. And come on, eventually. Eventually, I want to be able to hit those shots. Like, that's just goals is to one day be able to just pull up from there. We're down by quite a few right now. I have not been able to do as much. And I'm kind of falling in, like, into a lull at this moment. Like, mentally, my head is just not quite working. And it's just kind of a weird thing that's going on. I'm going to try and fix it. I'm going to try and be a better teammate here. But you saw, I've been trying to pass. It's just, it hasn't always been working out great. I kind of just need to go dunk. I think I'm better off with my 61% of the time. I'm going to score dunking on people, but not going for threes because threes is what kills my field goal percentage. And just trying to keep it simple. I'm going to get subbed out soon though, which either could help the team or it could really, really hurt the team. I honestly don't know Isaiah Thomas does what he does. Goes inside, draws a foul. He's going to shoot a couple. And it's been so tough to come back. Because they just continue to score over and over and over. I'm coming back in the game, though. Down by 13 at the moment. That's a little bit of an uphill climb. I'm guarding a fellow Canadian, though, which is kind of sick. Corey Joseph from Pickering, Ontario. I am not from Ontario. I'm not from Toronto. I know you guys are going to be thinking, TD, what do you mean you're Canadian and you're not from Toronto? It's you can be Canadian without being from Toronto. It might be news to you guys, but it's a thing. Beautiful Jeremy Lin. Nice pass. That's going to give me an assist. It's going to help out the old teammate grade because you know that thing never goes up unless you're passing or doing something um, over in the corner. Trap Joseph in the corner. Don't let him move. Don't let him move inside. That's a good, good defense. Hollis Jefferson, give me the ball, Hollis Jefferson. I'm going behind the back. Okay, go inside, force it, let's go. Sit down, 60 to 50. Everybody bow down. Everybody get ready, because it's about to go down. Down by 10 at this moment, it's not over. Inside, I'm trying to block the shot, IT misses. How are you gonna let Isaiah Thomas grab a rebound over you guys? Like, the guy is straight tiny. Like, I get letting him inside. He's amazing. But a rebound? There is no situation where he should get a rebound like that against us. There's just zero times that should happen. Go and look around. Find your guy. That's D'Angelo Russell. Back to me, Deadman. I know that's a bad look. I'm going to take it anyways. Why did I take that? I don't know. It, it would have put us down by only 10. I don't know why I took that shot. It, it was not smart. That's a block shot. And that better be a three. Block shot, and I cannot, for the life of me, hit a three. Like, literally, I can't hit a three. I don't know why it's a thing, but it's so annoying. Yo, I have been a straight savage these last few plays. I haven't been talking, and you may never see the clips, but I now have five assists, a B teammate grade. Like, things turned around for me fast. We're only down by 10. Yo, that's a miss. 
dead man, get me the ball. I also got a steal, and I'm running straight to the corner, and I'm taking this three. Oh, uh, no, dang it. That was a bad idea. Go inside. Boom. Boom. Got him. Coach, let's go. Looking you straight in the eye. I'm looking you guys straight in the eye. We're playing basketball today. We are playing some basketball today. Look, Oladipo is trying to run around, trying to find a way to get open. I'm going to watch that, though. I see everything, guys. I see everything. Miles Turner, but he, wow. These guys just keep taking my hopes and shooting them in the head. Literally, that's just what they do. They take my hopes, my dreams, everything that I want, and they just crush them. Corner, Isaiah Thomas, Layman's got the ball. I'm looking, Victor Oladipo. These stops, we're down by 11 with 214 left. You gotta figure if we don't get a stop here, it's all over but the crying IT for three. GG. These guys are unbeatable, man. I, wow, Indiana might be a low-key super team. They might just be a low-key super team right now. Looking at things that just based on what went on today, like we've played Houston, we've played some really, really good teams, but I've never felt as like just defeated as I'm feeling playing against Indiana. Here I'm trying to box Oladipo up a little bit, trying to put him in his own personal box. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. that's actually huge. That's actually huge. Yo, D'Angelo, D'Angelo, what are you doing, man? I'm wide open from three. Legit, I was sitting there wide open for three, and he completely missed me. Good job. Good job on the up. Okay, wait for it. Look around. Isaiah Thomas, nice inside, and he's going to miss it. Okay, there, at least he made that shot. If he missed another one, it was about to get real ugly between me, me and Isaiah. Like, it would have been absolutely messy our relationship like completely hindered yo good job good job go inside beautiful somebody found me though because we're too far behind for twos to matter right now and i know i can hit threes so i just need someone to found me i'm gonna start double teaming isaiah thomas trying to like just force something i know it might leave someone wide open i just think it's the best decision kemp fade away grab the rebound good stuff good stuff yo d'angelo take the three immediately why why is he settling for mid-range jumpers? The next video, Isaiah, is the last game before I can decide if I want to get traded or not. Now, if I were you in that situation, I would be balling out. But Isaiah is not. Or no, but D'Angelo is not. Levert's going to go inside. I'm just going to take a three here. Just or because we have nothing to lose. Or try and set someone up for a three. Look at D'Angelo Russell. Wide open. Not... Elias Silva misses. Once again, though, we wore the Curry shoes. Um, that, that was just like a main test to see if I'm even still with Jordan. We'll see what kind of comes of that. If there's any cutscenes afterwards. So I'll see you guys after. So in like a minute or so. The phone is ringing. Who is it? Brian. Jordan. Okay. It's time to start looking for some new thing. Cool. Whatever. I don't even be wanting to sign you after this, but do you want me to start talking to another company? Sure. Perfect. Boom. Goodbye, Jordan. Goodbye, Joe. You gotta go. Mio Mayo. You gotta go dressed in black on the bio. Goodbye, Jordan. I, I won't miss you whatsoever. It's time to at least start getting some cutscenes in here again. I wanted to see if we could sign to another shoe contract. We can. It was fun, Jordan. And now it's time to get traded.